Welcome to Reptiles and Research. So we're going to ask the question, do breeder dragons need heat at night time? So there's some old school ways of thinking where people think that, oh, it's a reptile. Therefore, it means we need to provide it heat at all times. And of course, you can see, see why people came to that conclusion. But bearded dragons actually in the wild, they have very cold nights. And then sometimes in the spring, the cold nights can be as low as five degrees, which is like 41 Fahrenheit. So they can get really cold. They hibernate during the winter and even then during the rest of their days, during the rest of the year, the air temperature at night drops significantly. So you don't really have to worry about nighttime temperatures. Bearded dragons need the dark to sleep comfortably just like us. They're awake during the day and asleep during the night. So you can have your lights on for the daytime and off during the nighttime. If you think they can comfortably survive going down to the, the, the low 40s in the wild, they're perfectly capable of going down to the low 60s in our homes. So all you want to do is turn it off at night. If you're not freezing at night and you're comfortable, your bearded dragon's fine. The only time you really want to provide nighttime heating is if you're somewhere that is truly, truly freezing and your temperatures are dropping to like really low temperatures. Then you can use something like a, a ceramic or a heat mat somewhere. Something that's a non-light emitting heat source that they don't get woken up by, but provides a little bit of warmth for them on a thermostat to control for temperature so you don't overheat them. And you can set it to sort of like 17 Celsius or 18 degrees, and that will be absolutely fine. All you're doing there is safeguarding against the going to freezing temperatures that might be dangerous for the dragon. But if you have that set really low, at all times, day and night, it won't come on during the day because obviously the environment's hotter than that. But at night, if we drop past that, that will kick in and provide some nighttime temperatures if you're in a truly freezing environment. But if you're not and you're in a comfortable temperature at night in your own home, if you've got the bit of dragon in your bedroom like I do, they actually really do benefit from this nighttime drop. So in the wild, the nighttime drop gives them a break and switches off their immune system. And because it was so cold the night before, in the morning, they go for a nice hot bask. And that switches on that immune system, gets them fired up, and it's really healthy for them and really good for their immune system. In fact, if we find some bearded dragons don't really bask that much during the day in captivity, one of the things that can cause that is because the temperatures were really high the night before. And they weren't really spurred on to go for that bask in the morning to really fire up and get hot again. So... Their immune systems can kind of suffer from having too hot of a temperature at night. So this drop at night is actually really good for them. So it's cheaper for you to turn the lights and all the electricity off at night. And it's better for your dragon. Better for the dragon, better for your wallet. I hope this guide was helpful to you. We have other bit of dragon guides on the channel. We have full guides, feeding guides, supplement guides. Go ahead and have a look and I'll see you in the next video.